Welcome, Autumn Hill. You are our first guest at Ottawa's New Country 94. Welcome. Hi. All right. Hi. We're happy to be here. <laughs> That's amazing. We're here with uh, Terea Green and Mike Robbins. Um, just wanted to get this out of the way. Everyone asks you where your name came from. Do you want to just do a quick little spiel? Sure, yes. Uh, I actually used to live off of Autumn Hill. And I just remember walking my dog and seeing it every day and falling in love with it. And we were talking about it. We just thought it fit so nicely with the sound we were making. You came from YouTube, essentially, right? You posted some videos. Yeah. The record label found you yeah. and brought you to Toronto and signed you. Yeah. I think that's so neat. Like that's It the is way neat, it is right? Days. It's like kind of the the fairy tale story of just the right person at the right time seeing the right video because there were some bad videos on there <laughs> <laughs> and um, inviting me to Toronto. And it oh. was literally, I was in Toronto for, I think, like 13 days, like two weeks, and I'd met Mike. Wow. And, uh, yeah. So and previous to that, you were doing web design or something? Is that yeah, right? yeah, I did a handful of things. I was doing web design. Uh, some I was actually more of like a like animations for actually other artists. Like I at one point I animated Tim McGraw's holiday card. Oh my so like God. the tree would slide in and he wished everyone happy holidays. Uh -huh. But um, I'm still mad we didn't get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we should totally. I could make one for you. You should make it. Just put his face on it. We'll feel great. <laughs> But you obviously um, always must have been singing in some some way. Or yeah, uh, kind of after the day was done, as, as far back as I can remember, I would just sing at the piano, sing myself to sleep, always. So it's cool. always been a passion. Cool. What about you, Mike? What, where did you come from? Uh, you know, uh, it's it's been music my whole life. Yeah. My dad was a drummer, my mom was a singer, and uh, I've been in a bunch of bands, and I've been I've been very fortunate to play guitar for a bunch of great artists and. You know, I was living out in Los Angeles for a while and got to tour America and all over Europe and stuff. And and I'd always sort of loved country, though. That, that you know, I grew up in a in a classic rock home, which featured artists like Johnny Cash, though, and you know Merle Haggard. And and I know it's not classic rock, but it's you know that time, time period yeah, exactly. exactly. So um, it was always kind of you know there in, in my blood. And uh, yeah, I came back and signed to this label and. They called me and were like, hey, we got this amazing singer. You guys should meet and see if you can write some music. And literally the first day we met, we wrote Favorite Mistake. Crazy couple of years. Like, you guys really just started, wow. you know, a couple of years ago. You're already nominated yeah. for Juno in 2014 and a couple CCMA nominations. Like, it's wild. It is wild is the perfect word. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. absolutely don't expect that. You just make music that you love and you hope people will connect with and you put it out there. And then the response was phenomenal. I mean, we're so grateful and fortunate to have been accepted, you know, and embraced like this. It's been an amazing couple of years. The best wow. years of my life, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. What's your favorite country uh, record lately? A artist? country record? You know who I'm loving? Little Big Town. I have Just completely this. fallen in love with Little Big Town. We actually uh, got to, we ran into them backstage at the CCMAs this year, <laughs> and we were just... Fanning oh my out God. <laughs> so hard. I think uh, he actually had stayed and watched our uh, little trio um, song that we'd done with Jan Arden, and he was expressing how I don't even think I heard anything he said because I was just in like this white noise. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you know they're right in front of me. But we're so not cool. No, we're, <laughs> we're not. so not cool. The they, first time we met, they, what were they like? Like. Oh, just the sweetest people. He was just so like, oh, you guys were great, and Jan Arden, it was fantastic, and he was just so happy, and it was, yeah, it was, it was a really, really wonderful experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I guess. Do you guys have any advice for up and coming singer songwriters that are trying to make it the way you guys Ooh. did? Wow, I still think of us as up and coming. When she just said I that, know. I was like, what? <laughs> like, you know what? When I was in Calgary, um, I'm. I would consider myself kind of a shy person. You know, I did YouTube because I didn't like to, like, I was very nervous in front of crowds. And I had written on my mirror for, like, a month before I left. Um, and it was, courage isn't the absence of fear, it's the mastery of fear. And it's just be courageous. Put yourself out there. Like, just go for it. I, that's Yeah, that's wonderful. If I had to give, I was doing a tour through, through America with um, a bunch of singer-songwriters out there. And I was told, touring is fun. It's amazing. It's going to be the best time of your life. But sleep as much as possible whenever you can. And this tour that we've been doing right now, I told that to Tere at the start of the tour. I was like, you, it's going to be so exciting. But I'm telling you, within like two or three days, you're going to be out. We're just going to need to sleep. And that is probably the the best advice I could give anybody looking to go on tour. Um, you're on tour with Kira Isabella. Absolutely. Yeah. Is there any fun antics or pranks or anything cool happening behind the scenes <laughs> that you can share? That you're allowed to share? Let me or what she well, like? Well, you know. 
So, I mean, I, we're obsessed with Coke bottle gummies, and she just likes to steal them. Everybody in her band, every time we get downstairs, <laughs> that like half of it's gone, and they're all like sneaking out. <laughs> we're like, no, there's no antics. I mean, there's nothing, nothing crazy there. She's so she's, sweet. She's like, like the nicest. Exactly. She is such a sweetheart. And I have to say, as a girl, it's so nice to be on the road with another girl, someone who understands like the frustrations of putting on your eyelashes every day, <laughs> like just those little things that guys just don't get. I, tr- I try to understand that, but I just will <laughs> never, you know. Um, the band, we're actually doing this amazing thing where we're sharing a band on this tour. So it really is like a small group of you know friends and family going out on the road. And everybody has just got everybody's back. And the shows have been amazing. And the fan response has been out of this world, just unbelievable. So no real antics. I wish we had more gossip There's for like, you. Uh, but, uh, no, she's just a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's coming up for you guys in the next six months to eight months? New record. Yeah, we're going to be... Probably we'll get. I think we'll get like a little bit of break for you know Christmas and the mm-hmm. holidays, but then I'm pretty sure we're gonna be in the studio full tilt for the you know for the for the new year. Um, the day before we left for the tour, actually, we were in the studio recording our next single. Um, we think, as far as we, we know think, right now, uh, it's gonna be our next like single. Big words there, <laughs> big, yeah. And no. uh, it's called Blame, and it's the same team actually as anything at all. So we're really excited to. Uh, to release that one. 